the first week of March. Some big things are happening, and the weather patterns could be changing, however. Storm Team 10's Chris Piper joins us to break it all down. Now that March is here, many people tend to think of this as a transition month from winter to spring. There are many things happening this month, with daylight saving time coming on Sunday and the official start of spring later this month. So, how are things looking? Now, each month I take a look at the Climate Prediction Center. It gives an idea of how temperatures and rainfall could go for a set period of time. So let's start with temperatures. More than half of the United States is in this red area, including us in the Wabash Valley. That means there's a greater chance of seeing above average temperatures for the month of March. Now the only difference is the West Coast could see a little bit of some below average temperatures. Now for us, this shouldn't be too surprising given how warm our winter has been. Now precipitation. For March, the Wabash Valley is right here in the middle. And off to our east and south, there's a greater chance for above average precipitation. But over to the northwest, a chance for below. Now what this means for us here at home is we have just as much chance to be above and below average. Now stay tuned because within the next few weeks, I'll be talking about the storm team's recent trip to the National Weather Service. I'll be digging into what we could see for more than just March, but also for the entire spring and summer season. Back to you.